Welcome back, everybody, to Quarantine Cooking, episode 32, you guys. So the last one for the year. Uh, we're going to be seeing you guys next year. We'll get the date on that uh, later on. But thank you for tuning in, you guys. It's, uh, we're here in beautiful Gilroy, California. We're here at the beautiful Neon Exchange with Tony Bowles behind the camera. What's up? Uh, we got Andrea Nicolette out there at the YMCA. I saw her all over the place this last week. She was serving meals, doing presents, helping the families out, everybody. So we're going to shout out to Andrea Nicolette. How are you doing, Andrea? Hey, Andrea. We hope you have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We do have a uh, great menu today. We're going to be doing some mahi tacos, you guys. Mm -hmm. Mahi tacos. I got some. We're doing. We have that maseca corn mix for some tortillas. Avocado crema. We're going to do fresh avocados. We're going to do, some, we're going to do also a slaw. And that's all I'll be showing you. Get the cilantro slaw. So I'll be showing you guys some quick, easy steps how to make this meal for your family during your holidays, you guys. Yeah. We do have a special guest today. He's a local local barber here in town. His name's Jason Leon with Gilroy. Barber Lounge. Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Thank you guys so much for having me. It's going to be fun. First yes. time ever doing this, so yes. bear with me. Okay. That's okay. It's going to be fun, bro. It's yeah, going to be a good time. Good. Yes. Thank you guys so much again. I'm uh, so glad that you came. I remember meeting you in 2019. You opened August? Yeah, I opened up August. Yeah. yeah and you I came in and you brought me the yeah. thing for my... Um, for the fire extinguisher. Yeah, remember? I remember. Yeah. I, got, I had like funny 20 fire extinguishers all throughout the building. I'm like... What am I going to do? No, she, she wasn't doing that. She was just peeping you out. Like, <laughs> right on there. Like, she's telling my fire extinguisher in the ground. And she's like, I'll bring you something else. I got, I got a bracket Yeah, I got something for you. I was like, oh, thank you so much. So how are you doing, man? I, I know you guys are closed down right yeah, now. Yeah, we're actually down right now. You guys are trying to, trying to make it, bro. You know, we feel for you guys, especially all the hairstylists out Appreciate there, the barbers, yeah. the masseuse, uh, restaurants. Oh, yeah, uh, everybody's so struggling right now, the bro. industries, everything, everybody. Yeah, it's been so, really yeah. tough, you know, and... I think what, what uh, we're going to do today is, is we're glad you're here. We're going to talk about your art. Like yeah, how, man, for sure. how, you know, I consider being a barber an art, man. Oh, yeah, for an sure. Art. So, yeah. so later on, as we get going, I want to talk to you about how you became a barber. Cool, how yeah, you picked that? Sure. How'd you pick it and everything? So, well, so we're going to get into that. Okay. Brain, you know, <laughs> yeah, I was about to start talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any more questions, Tony? No, I don't. I think we're Let's ready to rock and roll, you guys. We have four things we're going to make today. Four. Four days, we're going to be quick, 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 so okay. make sure you're, you're, you're catching up, make sure you're, have everything ready to go, mise en place, mise en place means have everything ready, you guys. Okay. As you get a little closer, you can see we have our first cilantro, avocado, limes, serranos for the spicy ones, all our, all our uh, spices over here, I have some sour cream, salt, olive oil, let's get ready to rock and roll, you guys. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, you guys, is get your masa, masa ready. And put it to the side. Set it and forget it. Okay. Good saying. We need to make some t-shirts to say that. Okay, I will. Neon exchange, quarantine cooking, set it set and forget it. Set it and it. forget it. <laughs> you like yes. tortillas? Oh, man, I love tortillas. So we got, uh, you guys know the maseca mix. I got the yellow corn one. Okay. Two cups in here. One and a half cups of water. That's it, you guys. Nothing fancy. You can get that in the... Any, anywhere. Safeway, okay. Knopf Hill, Walmart, Mexican stores, uh... Pretty much anywhere. Okay. So let's get a good mix here. Two cups and one cup of one and a half cup of water. Okay. And you're just gonna mix it well. Just get a good mix here. Do you cook at home, Jason? Uh I don't. That's okay. I neither do I. You will every time I learn this. Yeah. We'll this is easy, and bro. This is I'm easy. Like, I'm gonna go home and do this. You're good with your hands, though, right? because yeah, I've so seen you cut <laughs> Austin's hair. <laughs> right? So, so maybe that'll isn't that, translate. Isn't that amazing <laughs> that artwork could just go into you cutting hair? Just like, I'm going to have to take this job over here. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, you guys, how quick that was. Oh, yeah, there you go. One big masa ball. Yeah, let's talk to it. You got to talk to it sometimes. How you doing? Right. <laughs> Look at that. Just like, nice. just like so. So how'd you get uh, uh, cutting your hair, bro, being a barber? How'd you get into it? Um, my grandpa's a barber, actually. So no way, where yeah. at? And he's he's in Mexico. He actually just passed away, but... Oh, sorry yeah, to hear he that. He's had his own barbershop to the day. He so you take a generational, yeah, man, yeah. huh? Take, bring he was still down. working until he, he was, you know, passed away, but he was he was a really good barber. Well, you came into Gilroy, where there's a lot of fantastic barbers in oh, Gilroy, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of good, good barbers here. A lot of good ones. There's a lot of old yeah. school ones, too. A lot of old school. I did learn a lot moving over here, so... Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of good guys out here. Yeah, if you know, like... Tom Bustamante, mm -hmm. out there, JR. JR, yeah, exactly. JR is good, uh, you know, the Medina family. Yeah, uh, there's a lot. And then across the street, I think there's, um, what's her name? 
What's the name of that barbershop? Frank's? Frank's, Frank's old been food. around for years, so old she's food, a bro. super nice lady too, so the owner there is super nice. Look at that. Wow, there you go. But what, minute and a half? Okay. That's it, you guys, that's what you're looking for right there. It's not too dry, still a little mm -hmm. moist. Okay. If it was too dry, add a little bit of water. If it gets too wet, add a little bit of the mix. You gotta play with it a little bit, you guys. Okay. You might not get it right the first time, keep trying it out though. We put this to the side for now. That might be something the kids would enjoy doing. Yeah, yeah. it would. It's kind of easy. It would. Next, you guys keep up, you guys. You guys keep up here. We're going to do our slaw. I went and bought a bag of the slaw already mixed that has the cabbage in it. It's going to have purple cabbage, the red cabbage, sorry. Uh, green cabbage, has some carrots in there, and some kale. Come take a look. Real easy. You can do this from scratch if you want. Oh, if you want to make it easy, buy it already made, you guys. Over in the little salad. Yeah, aisle. little salad area. They have so many different kinds. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of cilantro here. Do you like cilantro, Jason? Oh, I love cilantro. I have to have it on all my tacos, everything I eat, so it's a big thing. Here we go. So when you were, where were you cutting hair before you came to Gilroy? Uh, I was actually cutting in Rebel City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm originally from East Palo Alto and I was cutting Rebel City and then um, I moved to Gilroy, but the commute was just killing me, so. Oh yeah, but yeah. I just thought it was a perfect time to open up the barbershop here. Yeah. Gilroy, so it's just different than you know everything else around. Yeah. So. It That's is definitely right different. I will mm -hmm. say when Austin, I took Austin over the first time, I was really impressed with your aesthetic. You know, oh, like no, obviously yeah. you walk in here and it's like, oh, you can see, you know, an aesthetic. It's exactly, yeah. But Super you really, yeah, you have, when you walk into your space, you have a vibe, you have an aesthetic. Yeah. Like Thank where you. did those inspirations come from? Well, I've, I've been I've been around a lot of barbershops and um, like I said, you know, my grandpa had his own barbershop. My, my cousins have, you know, two of my cousins have their own barbershop, so. I worked at maybe like five or six barbershops in the past, so I kind of just picked up good and bad. Well, not bad, I, I you know, I, I learned what to do and what not to do. Yeah, exactly. So that's something that I try to mix, and you know, I like most of the, you know, I like to do classic haircuts myself. Mm -hmm. I like to do all the, you know. Why are you looking at my hair, bro? Why are you looking at my hair? I'm looking at my hair, bro. Hey, we do shaves too. We do hot towel shaves and everything. What's a hair? Hot towel shaves. Yeah, we do haircuts, and then we do, uh. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do almost everything. Yeah, we, we basically do almost everything except for you know, dying and all that. But yeah, I just picked up from you know a lot of a lot of people. You know, yeah, I really like your building, man. It's Thank nice, you, man. Appreciate I don't know if you remember me going in there from when, the, right when you first opened. I went in there, left some cards. And, you know how I do it. Yeah. Empty catering or nothing, yeah, anything like that. I remember, yeah. yeah, I went in there. Um, I always I liked it. From the get go, oh, really thank cool, you, man. man. Appreciate it. Hopefully, we can open up soon, you guys. Yeah, no, all right, everybody, come check it out. Um, look a little closer. So, we got that slaw. Oh, all I did man. was add some cilantro, lime juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper, you guys. Okay. Real simple. And then just toss it a little bit. Leave it at that. Let's get a quick cleanup. We'll be right back. Okay. So, we got the cold slaw done, you guys. I have uh, I have my oil on going on low right now. You want it about 350 degrees. Right now, I have it on low. As we get closer to doing the fish, I'll pump it up a little bit. Cobans on low, and for the tortillas, we got our fancy gadget over here. Look at this, bro. Holy wow. moly. Can't find those no more, I'm telling you, bro. How yeah. much oil is in that pot? Uh, you're looking probably about, about two cups, three cups. Okay. Yeah, about three cups of oil. I don't know where, I, I forget where I got that one from. Crazy, yeah. I've had it for a long time, for a long time. <laughs> Before Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a couple of days off, she no, comes no, back. No, no. So we're gonna do a avocado cream, walk, not guacamole, but avocado cream. Avocado cream, okay. So it's just like a purified, oh, like oh, a thinner texture than a wok, like a... Yeah, well, actually, we're gonna add cream to it. Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So, because of But then? I've never seen that before. Uh, the sour cream with... Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 Sounds well. good. Real quick, you guys, easy money here. Let it be. Keep it out. Okay. I could use the whole walk avocado. Me too. Oh my god, yeah, dangerous. So you jumped right in, Jason. When you when you signed up, you were like, I I know this because I saw you at all the events. Like you were part of the chamber. You went to the Halloween Expo event. Yeah, showcased did, yeah. your entire thing. I even really brought awesome. a barber chair. Yeah, it was <laughs> so awesome. Yeah, my dad got a haircut in yeah, that barber chair. Yeah, just cutting hair for free. Whoever wanted to come in. It was beautiful. Yeah. Nice. And then that's um, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did it. Yeah, we went all out. We did all out. And then you you definitely decorated. You you said yes to decorating for Halloween. Oh yeah, thank you so much for that. It was, we got so many compliments on those 
on that, it was pretty cool. Yeah, the Halloween so, decoration was was awesome. Yeah, so you definitely have jumped right in and like you know became yeah. involved and active, and which is yeah. really cool. Just more open minded. I'm always open minded to everything. You know, any ideas? I'm never that type of person. Just automatically say no. I like to. Yeah. You know, I like to just. So what made you open your own spot, bro? It could be scary at times, pushing down and what happened, but. What made you just go on your own? You just I could do this, right? Oh yeah, I mean I was going around town, you know, not you know, nothing wrong, but it just I couldn't really find a barbershop that I you know that fit what I wanted to go for. So that's when I decided to open up my own, you know, however I like it and you know run it the way I wanted to run it, you know, which mm -hmm. you know, which is friendly, you know, family friendly, you know, anybody yeah. come in, we could have kids and you know, mostly respect, you know, more 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 yeah. of a classic place to, to be at. You know, barbershop's a place where you could just, you know, after work you go out. And you basically get pampered. Yeah. You know, it's not even exactly. a haircut anymore. It's a service. We, we say, you know. Exactly. We, we try to call it services because that's what it is. It's a professional industry now. You know yeah, so, for sure, man. Yeah, and then, you know, the prices that people are charging now is just... Ridiculous. Crazy, ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. We were able to do that because of how this industry got, you know. How yeah. Everybody put it out to be, so... I love... It. Austin definitely loves the it's hot, the hot, hot towel yeah. treatment. Oh, oh yeah, the hot towel treatment. Yeah. Uh, Nine years old and he's, like, loving the hot towel treatment. The last time he came, we didn't have hot towels, so I remember he liked it, so I went and I turned on the machine and throw a hot towel in there for him for a little bit so he could, you know... <laughs> it, but, yeah, he, like, he likes it. You can tell he likes it. Bro, That's something different we do. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. I would, I would, if I was 10 years old, I would have loved that. <laughs> Avocado, cilantro, salt, pepper... A little bit of olive oil and a serrano pepper, you guys. Got Real it. easy. Okay. We're going to bring it over here with our hand mixer. Okay. Can you just hit it a little bit? Let me see what's going on in there. Yeah. Get over here. Like so. You can do it by hand if you want to do it old school, boco hit. Boco hit style. Nice. You know how to use one of those? Oh, nice. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're using this whole yeah, new gadget, so I was like, tight, man. I've never seen this before, to be honest with you. I've never seen this gadget before. Boom, boom, boom. Easy clean, okay. There you That's go. That's it. Right. Look at that, you guys. That's super easy. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. There we go. We'll put That's that right there. Good. Next thing we're going to do is batter. We're going to do our fish batter, you guys. Really easy. Flour. They both have flour. Mm -hmm. One for, uh, you always want to get one dry and one wet. So right here we're going to add a little bit of water. And this one we're going to add paprika. And for some flavoring of the fish. Salt and pepper. Uh -huh. Get a little mix there. So you're going to cook this when you get home or what, bro? Yeah, I'm going to do this for sure. Paprika, salt and pepper inside the flour. Inside the flour, yes, the dry part. The dry part. And then the other one is the wet part. Yes. Let me get a fork real quick. And the wet part is flour and water. That's it, yeah. Okay. Some people, you can add beer to it if you want, soda, uh, a little bubbly. Mm -hmm. This works just fine right here, you guys. Do you like fish, Jason? Yeah, I do like fish. We, I, what I, don't you like? What don't um, you like? I'm honestly not a big person. I like seafood a lot, so oh, nice. anything has to do with seafood, I, I, I never say no. Nobody in my whole house eats seafood. That's crazy. Wow. It doesn't say no. Love seafood. See, that's too thick, you guys. That's not going to cook. That will cook it, but it's too thick. So Jason, if we wanted to get more information or follow you at Gilroy Barber Lounge, how do we do that? Uh, you could either follow us on Instagram or Facebook, which is Gilroy Barber Lounge, and then mm -hmm. um, our website, it's uh, GilroyBarberLounge.com, mm -hmm. where, um, where you can make your appointment and just kind of learn about the barbershop as well. And also, we will have t-shirts for sale on there and maybe some products and hair mm -hmm. products, which are like pomades, maybe some shampoos, but... We're gonna get that up and running soon, just to kind of help out with everything along with the pandemic. But yeah, uh, and definitely start yeah. connect it, connect your website to a store. Yeah. So that yeah. when you're talking about the merchandise, you know, like that, maybe you can do a little video about the merchandise if you That'd can't cool. get them inside. Yeah. That's actually and, a good idea. And then they can go online and purchase it, so, and yeah. then you can ship it to them. That'd be yeah. That's that'll, actually a good idea. That'll get you through until you can open until it. Open up. Yeah. That's yeah. actually yeah. Put some videos on how to. Put it on your hair and comb mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. And then wear this. Hair wait a minute. All right. Yeah. You, you yeah. gotta, you gotta wear the swag because that awesome logo. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for real. Thank you. Yeah, the logo is actually because my last name, Leon. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole line. The line. Yeah. Looks good. That's what you're looking for right there, you guys. Oh, nice. Okay, I got it. it runs through. Flour, your, water. Yeah. Ooh. It'll run through your fork. Flour, paprika, salt, pepper. That's it. Okay. You're gonna put it to the side. Right there. Leave it alone. 
Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. So next we're gonna do you guys, it's gonna be the fish. Can you grab me the fish out of there? I'm gonna show you how to guys how to cut the fish. Okay. This is mahi, mahi. Mahi, mahi, yeah, mahi. I got a uh I already cut a lot of it, but I'm gonna show you guys how to cut some here. Let's move this over here real quick. Thank you. Right here, Spine. Thank you, sir. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, Mahi's the cousin to a tuna. It's gonna have a bloodline in the back. Okay. That's why you'll see sometimes like this. Uh -huh. A little bit of the bloodline, but this is the edible part. Uh, just like the distant cousin of the tuna. So, okay. what we're gonna do is cut it in half. Okay. And you don't want real thick parts to fry like this because it might, it might dry out the outside before the inside gets cooked. Okay. So, you want little pieces like this. See how this is perfect. Oh, wow. Um, those are little fish sticks. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. These are uh, fancy schmancy fish sticks. Like that. Oh, that looks so good. Bada bing, bada boom, you guys, that's it, look at that. It'll go into the dry, into the wet, so I'll show you guys how to do that also. Let's get a little cleanup, we'll be right back. Here we go, guys, this is wonderful mahi right here. We're gonna get it fried over here, so come on this way, Looks everybody. Good. By now, the oil Let's should move this torture <laughs> chamber. Before Christ. Yes. Contraption. <laughs> you know what I can say? I have salt and pepper over here. Okay. That's to season it after. You always want to season it after. Okay. And remember, always keep one hand dry, one hand wet. How do you know your oil is ready? Um, you can do it two ways. You go like this if you want. Throw a little sample in there. There you go. You it's ready. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Sizzling. That's and, a good question. Um, well, if you, you can buy a thermometer, just a thermometer to show you and stuff like that. Uh, probably would never, I don't, I just look at it. I could do a little sample mm -hmm. like that, check if it's ready or not. Okay. But remember, as you put fish in there, <laughs> there yeah. remember as you put fish in there, it's gonna cool off. Okay. So I had it on low, so I pumped it up a little bit to keep that temperature going. So right here, flour, wet, I mean dry. Mm -hmm. You always wanna put flour before you put a batter or else it won't stick. Got it. To it. Then you put it in the wet, now you use your wet head. You keep this one dry. Right, flour, dry, left wet. Any way you do it, as long as they don't mix, I don't put this head in here. Got it. Because you'll just have a clump of stuff. How'd and you get it to cook? Um, I've been cooking for about 20 something years. Oh, wow. uh, grew up working in the fields out here in Gilroy with my family. You'd always been around food. Always loved food. Did you always cook ever since you were younger? And I always wanted to. Uh, I wasn't allowed to because, you know, at those times it was a little different. Yeah. Uh, my dad was like, yeah, yeah, those yeah time, exactly, yeah. bro. I don't want to say that. I might get beat on my children. No, it's okay. <laughs> I understand just, that you know, that was then thinking, and yeah. this is now. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It's crazy. I get it. But I would try to help my grandma as much as possible and my mom and, and just learn, bro. Just learn. I remember making a shrimp cocktail. I always say that story. Uh, a shrimp cocktail when I was uh, like eight years old, and nobody in my whole family ate sea seafood. That's crazy. There was no food network back then. There's barely cable. So it I don't even know where natural. I yeah, I don't even know where I got that from. So you just made it yourself? I know back. You know, I mean, I don't know how you are, but there was no Google. I have, you know, the best. Yeah. How to no, make a good cocktail. Yeah. There was no shrimp computers cocktail. back then. There was encyclopedias. So you kind of just did it yourself and yeah. Throw shrimp. Your I went with my mom grocery shopping, bought some shrimp. Some cocktail sauce. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Oh, Shrimp, know. cocktail sauce, and lemon. You mix them all together. That's crazy, man. Yeah. And my mom would tell me, how did you learn that? I was like, wow. Man. I tried making ceviche one time, and I went on Google and looked at it, you know, the recipe, and it still came out. Should we make a bar for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would die if you tasted it. If you're ever going to have him cater, to ask ceviche? him to serve ceviche. Okay. Yeah. Look at That's this. the look at, bomb. Look at this, how beautiful that is. Nice. Where's the first time you cut hair, Jason? Like um, as early as you could remember. The first time I touched some clippers, I was 15, 16. Really? Yeah. 15 16. Oh, young. Yeah, I was 16. I'm 24 now, so. Oh, young? Yeah. Man, you have your own business already? So, yeah, it's been about eight years since I've been cutting hair now. Wow, 15 and 16. Yeah, 15 or 16. It was was it on a too. person or on a... It was on my cousin. It was on yeah, your cousin. Yeah, on my cousin. I completely destroyed his hair. But you learned, bro. I was like, oh, my Trial God. Trial and error. I did, but <laughs> for some reason, I just liked it. And then I kept cutting his hair once a week until I started getting it right. And um, once I got comfortable and I was like, you know what? My hair cuts are all right now. I went to high school. I was I was in high school at the time, so I was telling all my, you know, the people that I went to school with that I could hear it. 
very little people trusted me, but once I, I did hit my senior year, I was, you know, that guy in school. You know, hey, when are you gonna cut my hair? Hey, can you cut my hair? And everybody knew me as a you know, the barber that cut hair, so. I remember doing my prom, I was super busy. That's the first time. <laughs> wow. I was doing my prom, it was like the first time I ever, you know, was that busy and did that many haircuts. And I remember at the end. It was time for business. Yeah, though. and then I remember, you know, at that time, I, I didn't even have to ask my parents to, to give me my, you know, my soup for prom or, or any of that. I just went and bought everything myself. I you were an to, entrepreneur yeah, even way is. back then. Yeah, so I didn't ask him for anything. I bought everything myself, that prom from, you know, cutting that whole week, you know. That's impressive. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, now that I think about oh, it. Oh, you wanted nice stuff. You got to work yeah, for it, yeah, right? Yeah. So, yeah, wow. I went to my senior year. That's when it picked up. And then um, it's crazy how it went for me because I didn't I didn't get my barber's license until I was uh, 21. 21. Yeah, so I was cutting hair like that for That's a so while. young, though, man. That's, yeah. that's awesome. You have that, you've had that focus. Focus yeah. and entrepreneurial spirit since you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always liked to work. I've always, you know, I always do what I can, so... That was the next step, but I do want to get into teaching. One so day, that's so. your hope this year. Yeah. Your next thing is My sort of step. like have a barber school. Barber school to be like inspire it's, other yeah. young kids exactly. to like come up and just showing that you know sometimes a lot of people think oh you cut hair you know it's not you know whatever but the industry's gotten so crazy that you know cutting hair is actually a big deal you know everybody needs haircuts nowadays so. Everybody wants to look sharp yeah, for their selfie, exactly. right? <laughs> exactly. You know, people who work, you know, in the office or you know, who do stuff and you know, professional, you know, professionals want their haircuts all the time. So yeah, the industry has this changed for the better, but yeah. So anyway, so the future is barber. <laughs> the future is barber school. That's yeah, awesome. so hopefully, you know, you're right, dude. You're right. So yeah. I, I was just barber school I went to, the, the guy told me that a lot of people come from Salinas, Soledad, you know, people come from, from this Far area. Far away. So, so, you know, he's even talking about, you know, if you do something in Giro, it'll cut their, you know, their time. So you would be having a lot of people. And then, oh, the barber, yeah. like I said, the barber industry is just big. Everybody wants to carry now. Yeah. I remember even when I, like, it hasn't been that long, but even when I first started cutting here, nobody wanted to carry Yeah. You know, even before that, like, like, like I said, barbering wasn't really a thing, but now a lot of it's people cool. are going. No, they're coming yeah. back. Yeah. Exactly. A lot of people. Yeah. I wonder who made it cool. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so we have our fish done over here. That smells good. I see them with some salt and pepper. That's really, really good. Leave it right there. Okay. Now we're going to the tortillas, you guys. Here we go. How old is this? I'm kind of excited to see this. this, this 1,000 years old. I remember going to my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> 1 billion years old. Here we go. Just kidding. And you always want to put some wax paper or plastic there so, so that tortilla doesn't stick to the wood. Make your little ball. Man, this is crazy, man. If you get in trouble, your hand yeah. goes <laughs> Like so. See, so back in the the DC. Close it. Here we go. Bam. Dang, look bada at that. Bing, bada bing. Fancy. Transfer right on the grill. What type of food do you, you enjoy doing the most? Um, something that you're like... Oh, man, my, 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 my palate is really diverse. I mean, one day, I can do nothing but veggies. I would okay. just... I'll go in my fridge, see what vegetables I have, and just murder it. Okay. I'll make... Um, if you go in my fridge, you'll see I'll make chimichurri, you know, roast, mm -hmm. uh, different pickle or pickle vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, so you really have so a depending favorite? on what mood I'm in. Depending on what mood I'm That's in. That's crazy, because a lot of people always ask me, what's your favorite recipe to do? And I'm like... I don't know, that's a good question because that's true, whatever mood you're in, you know, like, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, it could be mm -hmm. sheer haircuts, it could be whatever, but definitely, you know, sometimes you go all day doing the same kind of haircut and you kind of want to switch it up. Switch it up a little bit. Yeah, and there's times where you want to do that type of haircut, so yeah, it does depend on you. Mm -hmm. So teaching, you're thinking you're talking about teaching, that'd be yeah, cool, man. That'd be, that'd that'd be that's good. one of the things I really want to do, just teach, you know. You can just rent the whole up upstairs, just rent it all. Really? <laughs> <laughs> right, Tony? Yeah, whole, <laughs> Tony's like, yeah, we do it. No, that's that's yeah, that's something I'm, I'm really looking forward to do. Look at these tortillas. Let's Cook check them out. Awesome. So you transfer them over to the grill. Yeah, so these take no time at all, you guys. They're not gonna bubble up or nothing. You won't see none of that, oh. like a flour tortilla or nothing like okay. that. Good to know. Let's take a look at that. A little more. Oh. Okay. Party foul, party foul. There we go, there we go. Everything's spaces. Glue it together. There you go. Big plan for the holidays, man? No, we're just hanging out at the Chilling house. Chilling out, yeah. being safe. Being safe, exactly. Yeah, for real. How about you, Tony? What do you got going on? We're just going to keep it low, 
to keep it chill. We got a million presents. My mom spoils all of us, and so we got a million presents to get. <laughs> it usually takes us hours to no rip way. through. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, I do want to talk about what Tony did also this past weekend with the Neon Exchange, helped out with the YM with YMCA. <gasps> yes. How, how was that? How many, so, how many gifts? 2,000 toys, 3,000, probably a little like more like $3,200 worth of gift cards. No way. That's yeah, insane. like a hundred jackets. I mean, That's so cool. Here's a lot it right was now. so overwhelming. It was great. It was That's beautiful. Good. There's a lot so we're in a great, good, good, good place yeah, here, man. We all help each other out. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. Next year, definitely, it's going to get bigger. And we're going to spread our wings and try to get reach, you know, above and beyond. It worked out beautifully. It was COVID safe. So Maybe people... next year we could do some, I'll do some free haircuts, probably bring two or three <gasps> guys. Oh my God, that would be yeah. like so cute. Bring two or three guys, or bring some chairs. Yeah, Cover for those, and, and then the, and mm. then go on to the next step, which is what they were talking about doing, but we can do it. Free family photographs. That's, that's So you a get a haircut, one. you look yeah. all cool. With all your presents, uh -huh. you can take pictures. Yeah, and then that's, you take pictures. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. That so would be, that'd be huge. Great ideas yeah, that'd be huge. And it's totally free because everything huge. costs so much money to like put exactly. together. Yeah. These yeah. wonderful tortillas. That Homemade, oh, yeah, maseca, that. water, that's it. Look at that. that we're going to be come back, we're ready to plate, you guys. Okay. Here we go, you guys, we're going to plate. We have our fish, tortillas, we have our slaw, and our avocado cream. Are you ready to looks, try these, bro? Amazing. I'm excited. So let's look at this little fancy gadget oh, here. Nice. Yeah, all the nice. Look how easy this is, you guys. You can do this at home. That looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Do a little bit of slaw here. Yeah, that looks good. Some falls. It's all right. It's all right. You gotta get some good guys. <laughs> a little bit of walking, uh, avocado oh, cream. Oh, well, yeah, that's avocado cream. Actually, it's really good. Oh is your mouth watering yet? Yeah. Mine is. I'm like ready to try this. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. All right. We're almost there, brother. We're almost there. Imagine you guys just cook it. Not let me try it. <laughs> I know. He's like, ha ha. Too bad. <laughs> we got to make it look pretty for you. For, for the pictures, man. Got some edible flowers here. I found in San Jose. Fancy. Fancy schmancy. And bada bing, bada boom. There you go, you guys. Oh we have our mahi tacos. Real simple. We got our avocado cream. I put some cilantro in that also. We got our homemade tortillas, which are really simple to make, and our cilantro slaw, you guys. Try that at home. Let me know what you guys think. We're gonna have Jason here try it out a little bit. Let us know what you think, Jason. Okay. Here we go. We got Jason Leo, Gilroy Barber Lounge. We're gonna try out our mahi tacos. So Again, thank you for coming out today, man. Yes, thank you, Jason. We hope everything yeah. turns around soon. Everyone gets healthier and better. Hoping you guys up. can make, start making some money. Exactly. Uh, excited so about much. your future here in Gilroy. Thank you. Hopefully, man. we do it. get a nice little uh, barber school here. Yeah, you'll be nice. in charge. I'll cater, and you're ready That's for right. Tony. That's <laughs> man, there you go. Try it out, man. I wish they could smell this because this smells good. Yeah. Yeah, it does smell good. And it's okay if it's messy. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That tortilla smells so good. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a messy eater. So. There you go. It's okay. There we go. It's all yours. Eat right over it if you want. It's all yours. How is that? Man, this is... This is really good. <laughs> he, he, looks, silent. he looks hypnotized, you guys. So I think yeah, that's a thumbs up. Really, really good. Good? Yeah, I wish everybody could try it. They gotta make it, they gotta make it at they home. They gotta make it. Yeah, I'm for sure gonna go home and make this. Thank you, my brother, for thank coming out. So Appreciate yeah. it, man. One thing, Neon Exchange, too. Oh, you know. thank you, Jason. Definitely, definitely. Again, my name is Chef Mark Stugovi, you guys, and it's been a crazy year. We wanna thank you guys for all your support out there. Uh, we'll see you guys next year, January 9th. Yes. There's our special guest coming for the first one. Yep. Uh, it's going to be wild. It's going to be a crazy one, January 9th. <laughs> but we'll be ready. Again, we want to thank you guys. Have a happy new year. Have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, everybody be safe out there. Again, this is Quarantine Cooking, episode 32, and we're out. Bye.